In this example, I'm going to find the perimeter of a circle, otherwise known as the circumference. And there are two formulas that I'm going to work with. The first is that circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. I can write an alternative form for circumference because twice the radius is the diameter. So I can also say that the circumference is pi times the diameter. So let's see how these formulas come into play with the information presented in each problem. In the first example, I'm presented with a radius of 4 inches. So if I want to find the circumference, I'm going to start by inputting the formula 2 pi and then the length of the radius. Now the directions say to first leave your answer in exact form and then in rounded form, if I'm going to use rounded form, then I'm going to use 3.14 as a replacement for pi. So let's see how that's going to work. Circumference is 2 pi times 4, which is the same as saying 8 pi. This is what's called exact form. It's not rounded. Pi is presented in its most exact form, which is the symbol pi. If I want to find the rounded form, what I'm going to do is take 8 times 3.14. 3.14 is an approximation for pi. If I perform the multiplication there, I get 25.12 rounded to the hundredths place. So this is the rounded form. And my units here are inches, so I should have included inches here, and I'll squeeze them in, but they also should be here. In my second example, I'm given a measurement all the way across the circle. That is the measure of the diameter. D is 12.44 meters. So I can use the alternative form for circumference, which is pi times the diameter. I'm going to write the diameter in front, 12.44 times pi, and that gives me my exact form. And let's not forget to put the units, and the units are meters. I'll get this right in just a second. There we go, meters, and that is the exact form. So exact just means that we're not rounding for pi. If I want to find the rounded form, one way to do that is to substitute 3.14 in place of pi. And if I do that, I'm going to get 12.44 times 3.14 multiplied and rounded to the nearest hundredth is 39.06. That is also in meters. I don't know why I keep wanting to put inches there, probably because of the first problem. So that is meters, and that is the rounded form solution for the circumference of this circle.